How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today's video is showing you guys everything you need to know about all of the different hybrid breeds within the game across all the eight species of flowers. By the end of this video, you guys are going to be hybrid experts. Now I love planting, I love the gold flowers in the game, it's just so much fun for me. So thanks so much for being here. And of course, if you guys didn't already see our previous hybrid guide where we showed you guys the basics of how to make hybrids, got over 4,000 likes. You guys are absolutely insane. And then right over here, the gold rose video that I made not too long ago got over 3,000 likes. So if we get a fraction of that, holy moly, you guys are awesome. All right. So without further ado, let's become hybrid experts. How this video is gonna be divided is going to be in three parts. I'm going to give you guys the basic rundown right at the beginning. We're gonna go over all of the recipes for every single one of the 20 plus hybrids in the game. And then at the very end, I'm gonna give you guys a little tips and trick on how to water your plants way easier. <laughs> so stick around. All right, so here we go, hybrids, hybrids, hybrids. Where do we even start, right? Where do we even start? So you're gonna start by going over to the Nooks area, right? The Nook shop, and then you're gonna go raid their cupboard. Or if you really wanna start without buying any of the packets, just go across your area, your entire town, and take a look at what you have that's natively growing. Every town has a different native plant and a different availability when it comes to roses in the cupboard over here. So definitely take a look and see what you have. Uh, I, had a, I had three natives that were in my town and then when I expanded shop, I was able to get some uh, roses that show up over here. So everyone's town is going to be different as far as what colors are going to be available here. So if you want, you can grab like a rose bag like this. You can buy them. I would say buy as many as you want. Uh, roses are a little bit more lucrative when it comes to breeding because at the time of recording, they're the only gold flower in the game. So here's hoping that they expand on that. I really want them to, that would be amazing. All right, now that we've got our flowers in hand, whether or not you bought them from the store or picked them up off the ground, it doesn't matter. The end result is going to be the exact same thing. You are definitely not going to have a difference between the two, so keep that in mind. All right, now that you have them in hand, all you have to do is put them in a kind of checker pattern however you want. Now, based off of which recipes you're, one, uh, you're going to follow is you're going to have to pay attention to which flowers are next to each other. Now I say next to each other, meaning in a diagonal cross pattern. If you use the diagonal cross patterns, you're going to have a higher optimization for different empty spaces simply around the flowers that they can spawn some new buds with. So what I've got going on over here is just, uh, it's, it looks like a mess, but it's a calculated mess of what exactly I want uh, roses to grow out of here. So we've got some lines of yellows, whites, and reds. And then of course, when I'm trying to make black flowers, I've got a whole bunch of reds over here too. Remember, we're gonna show you guys all the recipes, so don't you worry about it. So it's gonna be super easy. Uh, I've got this white one in my pocket over here. Uh, you're gonna grab the white one, you're gonna press the A button, you're gonna press plant, and then boom, you've got a little sprout over here. Now you don't necessarily have to water your sprout because over time, after a couple days, the sprouts are going to turn into buds and then they're going to flower. So don't even worry about watering them. Watering them is really only when you want the different flowers to make any kind of offspring or do some crossbreeding. So for example, right over here, if I'm looking for black roses, I'm gonna water every single one of these red roses in hopes that tomorrow on a brand new day, that a little black rosebud will actually show up over here. It's going to be pretty cool. And that's the fun part about this game. It's like seeing what exactly is going to happen. So if you're gonna take anything out of it, uh, just make sure that you do cross patterns and then you just make an entire farm for any kinds of flowers, any kind of breeds as you want, and then go from there. All right, so that's the basics. That's all you really need to know. Uh, whatever kinds you have available, just make them into cross patterns. And then maybe uh, you'll be lucky enough that they can breed into some different colors. Oh, look, I got something growing over there, kind of cool. And of course, you're going to be able to get lots of uh, different bugs that fly on them too, especially if they're hybrids. You get uh, some really cool butterflies that come on the hybrids. All right, so um, let's take a, a, <laughs> a left past this robot over here and let's start off with roses. As you guys can see, roses are the most lucrative for me simply because the end result of black roses is going to be the gold rose. And that is going to be something that I've already grown about nine of them just by watering black roses. So let's go and we're gonna talk about it. Look at these black roses, they're everywhere. All right, 
So right over here, this is the basic recipe. These are the basic colors too. You have red, white, and yellow. And from red, white, and yellow, you can get every single one of the breeds that are above me on screen over here. So if you add a red and a white together, you can get a pink one. Now a pink one is what I consider a trophy color, meaning after you're done breeding a pink one, it's really just for show. You're not gonna be using pink ones for any other additional color breeding. It's a trophy, you can put pinks next to each other and they can possibly give you some more pinks, but that's just about it. The well runs dry with that one, so keep that in mind. Uh, next up is going to be red and yellow. Red and yellow make a very awesome orange color and you're going to need some oranges for some other colors a little bit later, I'll show you guys. Uh, next up over here is the reds. So you put any two reds next to each other and you water them and you'll be able to get a black, which is really good. And black is going to be the recipe for the gold ones very soon. All right, hold on, pause. Sorry, I need this. <laughs> totally need it. Don't even talk to me about it. I'm trying to get my gold slingshot. All right, next. Next right over here is two whites. If you put two whites together, you can indeed make a purple rose. Whoa, super cool. All right, you guys can see over here that this one is going to be pretty interesting because these next to each other, a white and an orange. If you get a white and an orange together, you're going to be able to make a special red. Now this red looks exactly like the other ones. They do, but this special red will be the one that gives you the ability to get blue ones. And that's why I put the Abdallah face right over here because you're going to need two special reds in order to make a blue. Now, taking this on full value, if you looked at this picture, that is completely incorrect. You need to make sure that you're putting your white ones next to your orange ones. And then if you do see a red sprout, you wanna take that red one and then segregate it from all the other red ones because the only way that you're gonna get blue in the game is if you put two of those special reds to, uh, together. All right, and then last but not least, if you have access to a gold watering can, be it uh, trading from someone or having a five-star town, come on over here and water your black roses. If you water your black rose, the next day it has a random chance of spawning a, a golden bud. And that's it, so you don't need two black roses next to each other, you don't need anything like that. Just water some black ones and then there's a random chance that it'll show a gold one. So pretty cool, I like the gold one a lot. All right, so that's roses for you. Let's move on to the next breed of flower. As you guys can see, a little sneak peek over here. This is gonna be hyacinths. So you guys can see whether or not you want to invest in them because I've got all the colors available for you. So basic colors are exactly like roses. You got red, white, yellow. Moving on over here, adding the red and white together equals a very cool looking pink. Adding the red and yellow together makes a very cool looking orange. Putting two whites next to each other makes a blue one. And if you had a couple hybrid oranges floating around, you slap the two oranges together and you'll be able to get a purple. Pretty cool, right? I think the purple one looks cool. And I like the blue one a lot, like I really do. All right, next up is tulips. Tulips was one of my first breeding projects because that was one of my native flowers and I made a, a, a purple one. It was cool, you'll see it in my first hybrid video. Anyway, same concept, it's gonna be red, white, yellow. So once you see red, white, yellow, put red, whites together and you'll be able to make a pink tulip, very nice. Put your red and yellow together, you'll be able to make a very sleek looking orange one, super fun. And like some other recipes, if you put two reds together, you'll be able to make the black one. And you can see like the little uh, yellow uh, aesthetics on the inside of the flower too. And of course, like our previous one, if you have two oranges, which is uh, a lot of breeding, you put your two oranges together, you guys will make the purple ones, which is probably the rarest out of all of them. So keep trying, you'll get it. All right, next family is going to be the lilies. You can see over here, lilies are going to be the exact same thing. Red, white, yellow is what you start off with. You put your red and white together and you guys can make a pink one. Very nice. You put your red and yellow together to make an orange one and you slap two reds together and you guys can indeed make a black one. Moving on to the cosmos. Cosmos are over here, they kind of look like daisies a little bit. So uh, it's gonna be the same colored patterns, red, white, yellow. And a lot of them are going to be the exact same thing. Adding the red and white together will make you a pink one. Adding the red and yellow one together will make you an orange one. And slapping the two orange ones together will make you a black one. All right. So next up we have the very awesome pansies. Now, just like the roses, pansies are going to be a little bit harder to get all the colors simply because there is a purebred recipe on board too. So you wanna take a look at that. So your basic colors are going to be red, white, yellow, even though it looks like a black and kind of looks like a purple and whatever, that's the colors of them, red, white, yellow. 
So you come on board over here, red and white equals an orange. So you can see that with these pansies over here, the little orange like kind of crown within there, that's the orange coloration of it. So keep that in mind. So next up is two whites equals a blue one. Very, very interesting. And then you've got some very special ones over here with the pansies. And I mark them with the Abdallah faces because these are going to be your, your very interesting purebred ones in order to get yourself the purple pansies. Now, right on board, if you throw a red one next to a blue one, you can get a special red one. And that's what we call a, like a, a purebred red one. It's completely special because these two sprouted it, but it looks the exact same. Uh, next up, uh, another way of getting another special purebred is going to put the orange ones and the blue ones together. And by doing that, you can indeed get a special orange one. Now, uh, for the purple one, if you do have two of these special red ones or two of the special orange ones and you put those next to each other, they can indeed cross pollinate in order to get the purple one. So again, this one's a little bit harder and it's harder to get the end result because there's a lot of uh, a lot of specific breeding that you're going to do in order to get that done. Okay, windflowers. I do like the windflowers a lot. Uh, the basic colorations are going to be red, white, and orange. So keep that in mind. If you slap a red and white one together, you can get a pretty pink one. Love it. Slap two white ones together and you get a blue one. And then this one's pretty rare. If you get two of the blue ones together, you will absolutely have a chance of getting a purple one. So the purple one is going to be the top tier as far as uh, the rarity of those go. And last but not least, we do have the Mums, the only green hybrid in the game. Go figure. So it's going to be red, white, yellow, which are the basic colors. Head on over, red plus white equals the very pretty in pink. You got the white plus white equals the purples. And you slap two purples together, you can get the elusive green mums. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, so ladies and gents, that's all the recipes for Animal Crossing New Horizons, every single hybrid within the game. I counted over 25 of them, so here's hoping that maybe in the future we can get a flower update. Okay. So we got one more thing to do. Now, there's a lot of uh, a lot of things that you can do in order to water all these, right? You can make um, you can make little rows of stuff. You can make the little checker pattern, like I've done right over here. Like I've got this little cross pattern that I'm really just gonna gold watering can every single one of these. But watering flowers takes a long time. You can see this here. If you have the regular watering can, you only water about six spaces every time you do it. And if you have the golden watering can, if you're fortunate enough, you can water nine spaces. But what if I told you there's a way faster way? All right, follow me on this one. So we have all these hybrids here, right? They're all here. And I'm really hoping that we can actually make something happen. So why don't we do this? Say goodbye to KK Slider and I'll show you. This is an approach used for people with a more customized gameplay experience. If you guys play the game from day to day without messing around with customizing your time, then this method is definitely not going to help you, but it's going to help the rest of the people that play more customized why. Um, so anyway, so what we're gonna do is we are going to close our software over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my date to a time that I had rain. Oh man, picking up what I'm putting down over here. So I knew that I had rain exactly right over here at about 8.20 a.m. on 5.8. Uh, and this will work for you guys 100% of the time. I'm not sure if my specific date will work for you, but if you notice that it's raining in your game, definitely jot down that time and date on a piece of paper in case you want to customize your gameplay experience so that you guys can go get that rain. And if you guys are like me, then you want as many hybrid flowers as possible, especially because they have a very high value in the stock market. And you guys can easily beautify your town in ways that other people can't simply by putting in the time of watering and crossbreeding and taking a look at all that fun stuff. So anyway, so we're going to we're going to go back to when I had rain, which was not too long ago, uh, according to in this game. And we're just going to load up our file. So usually whenever you click on the load button and it's a brand new day, the loading screen does take a little bit. So don't even worry about it. OK, so as you guys can see, we do have rain over here. This isn't edited. This isn't uh, adjusted by any means. This is me showing you exactly what's going on. Now, remember, I showed you all of my black flowers in the very uh, bottom over there. So those are gonna get watered. They're not gonna get watered with gold rain, but all the flowers on top of my island, which is all the way up north in my rosebuds, those guys are gonna get a whole bunch of water too. 
So, as you guys can see, every single flower in my town has now been watered in less than like two minutes. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to save the game, and then what happens is that the game saves, saying that, oh, hey, today, every single one of your plants is watered. So, what we're going to do now is once it says uh, you're ready to go, we are going to close out Animal Crossing, and then we're gonna go back to the day that we just were. Now, customizing your time in order to go back in time doesn't really do anything to your game. It's not going to hurt your game. It's not going to harm anything. It's just going to pretend that it's a brand new day. So things that you can miss out on potentially is your login bonuses on your ABD. You can miss out on that if you didn't run and go take a look at it. You're going to miss out on any um, items that the Timmy and Tommy shop have. But other than that, the game thinks it's just, hey, you know what, here's a brand new day. Uh, you might not get the morning announcements because you've already loaded them once, but at the same time, I got all my flowers watered and I'm able to go check them all out, dig up any hybrids that came out, and then just keep on going. So you can see that this process over here of mass, um, mass watering your plants is going to be a hybrid gardener's best friend. So I'm excited to actually go all, all the way up on top and see what kind of uh, flowers we got. So anyway... Let's load up this game one more time, and uh, I'll show you guys everything you need to know. And then maybe, you know, all the recipes that we have just spread out in front of the town hall, maybe some of those uh, made some hybrids. Who knows? All right. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, hey, look at that. Morning announcements. Excellent. Okay, nothing happening. That's kind of what I'm noticing here, too. The more you play this game, the less happens. And then Isabel just keeps on repeating her lines over and over and over again. Oh, you got a new magazine? Cool. You got a crossword puzzle? Cool. You said hi to your mom and dad and didn't even mention a thing about Digby? All right. Anyway, so we can see here that my buds um, came on board. So I got the gold roses over here. This is what I put inside the little Tommy and Timmy Nooks uh, payments or 500 bells. Oh, thanks guys. Not skipping out on any of that stuff. So as you can see over here, these all of these got watered simply because of the rain, but I didn't water them with gold. So whatever, not a big deal. So I've got two little black buds that are over here, which is great. And we got another black bud, so I can expand my entire uh, black flowers. Over here, you can take a look if you have your shovel available. These two guys just bred, which was awesome. And that's exactly showing you what exactly we got. So since I uh, got that out of there, we got orange roses. Just from the uh, red and yellows, just by doing that. So fun. Uh, coming on over here, these guys um, just gave us a little red. So this is another purebred red that we just dug out. So this is red rose buds. Very nice. Uh, coming on over here. Oh, check this out. Two whites together. I mean, I don't necessarily need the white. So that's kind of a dud. That's a little bit of a miss if you uh, think about it. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Any other breeds? Oh, look at this. Two reds just made a black. Oh, so cool. All right, beautifully done. So you can see over here that we do have the black tulip buds. So two reds, making the black, very nice. What else we got over here? Anyone else? Anyone else making uh, making some rose babies? Uh, right over here. So these guys made some, oh, whoa. Yeah, that's the Abdallah face one. Oh, okay, so remember, uh, red pansy buds. So these, remember, these are like the poggers ones, the hybrids. So I just made a, a hybrid one. Um, so that's gonna be one of these guys in order to make the uh, the purple ones. So that was really cool that we got one of those. And then moving on over here, I don't know if we got any mums. No, we did not. So let's see it on a bigger scale. And you guys are going to do this too. So clear out your entire areas. Oh, this one just randomly got a bud. I mean, I'm not even worrying about that right now. So let's see it on a grander scale from everything on my uh, spots up here. So let's show you guys. Let's walk on up. Let's walk on up over here. And I'll show you guys the roses. Now, I'm not really paying attention to the mums, but I'm t paying... Oh my god. Gosh, what in the world is that? Give me that. <laughs> Must be, wow, holy moly. Queen Alexandra's bird wing? That looks awesome. All right, anyway, wrong tutorial. Um, anyway, so any kind of buds are the ones that we produced yesterday, technically. Um, so looking over here, we got a white bud. Pretty interesting. Oh, whoa, cool, cool. Check this out. We can dig up all these guys. Yo, so these whites next to each other, or someone. Oh, these are probably pinks. Let's take a look. So that was... Yeah, that's pink rose. So you can see that the only thing that could breed over there uh, would be, you know, pinks or oranges. So we got pinks there. Uh, right over here, we got some reds that we're just going to be digging up. 
Uh, this over here is probably orange. It looks like yellow, though. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like yellow. Not too bad. Uh, right over here, it looks like we got another red. It's okay. Uh, yeah, we got another red. Uh, right over this way, we did get a yellow. Don't really need that. And then I'm looking for blacks. Ooh, we did not get any black, unfortunately. But as you guys can see, as long as you're keeping the cross pattern, you're, in, you're going to net so many different flowers in the game. And if you want to really expand your entire island with all sorts of cross patterns, by all means, do it. Oh, these guys bloomed. Oh, I didn't even realize. Pink flowers. Okay, cool. Anyway, guys, that's really all I got for you. That's everything you need to know about flowers in the game. You've learned everything there is I can teach you, possibly about the game. You know the basics of how to start out. Uh, simply by planting in cross patterns. I taught you guys all of the recipes within the game for over 25 different hybrids. And of course, I taught you guys a little pro tip in case you guys like that customized gameplay experience. So, uh, yeah, watering like that and then pretty much going backwards to your rain day, going back forward and seeing what kind of breeds you get is really, really helpful. Or you can just do it the long way. Whatever. Everyone plays Animal Crossing differently. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. I know we went super in depth, so please do me a favor and smash that like button and share this video with some friends. We got tons more gameplay tutorials and of course walkthroughs, so make sure you guys are all on board by clicking on that subscribe button and turning on notifications for the latest and greatest Animal Crossing content. If you guys wanna trade and talk about Animal Crossing even further than the comments below, by all means, take a look at our Discord. We've got over 6,000 members just waiting to talk to you guys and trading uh, with you for Animal Crossing. So you guys are awesome. Thanks for the support. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.